going up. I'm not really I've sure. never heard that song before. Booty, booty, booty. <laughs> the now booty song. And now you can't unhear it. Oh, yeah. We, we can't sing that one. Cross put. I don't want to do that right now. I thought we did that already. All right. Let's we'll play see. With that. We'll play with that later. Let's see if we're live. It looks like it's all frozen up. Are we much. live, guys? But I wonder if you can actually choose. It looks like you choose to maybe hit that and play it and watch the preview. If not, just let it go. I don't need this. I don't need to see the preview. As long as you could pull it up. Um, it. I see us on here, okay. but I'm not seeing um comments or. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Give it a second. Can you hear us? Let me see. Our speakers. I mean, our uh, mics on there. Yep. Yep. We're talking. Perfect. Cool. Hey guys, yeah. we're live. We're losing it here. <laughs> Hopefully, we stay live and don't. Uh, Get any up oh, it turned black there why did it do that oh there it goes i don't know what's going on with this thing. maybe because you were moving the screens over yeah that should have anything to do with that well let us know if you can hear us and see us okay we're trying um, to stream for a few minutes before we start the actual show so we can get some you know yeah some clarity whether or not this is streaming okay okay yeah just to make sure all is good we did have monster tech support over helping us out we had uh some uh some lady werewolf <laughs> working at the computer this afternoon yeah. mm -hmm. and she said it was okay that it was working well, so it should be then if she said it should be yes <laughs> so she said go. hopefully you guys out there have your drinks you have your snacks ready that's right and uh, you're getting cozy maybe putting on your favorite sweatpants maybe your favorite shorts or maybe nothing maybe, at all maybe no pants maybe uh leggings or a yeah. skirt or uh, a kilt yeah <laughs> who knows <laughs> Since the weather kind of, well, it warmed up for a day or two here, like yeah. very, not, and not really that warm, but you know, but people are already wearing their shorts. They can't wait to bust out those shorts, man, out of the mothballs, you know? It's funny. So it was like 60 degrees today. You're in Cleveland, you're Ohio. You're in Cleveland, Ohio, and 60 degrees, you know, maybe in Florida or California, they Ooh. might get cold and put a sweater on. Or, put on their North Face jacket yeah. when it does. <laughs> or put on a coat. Um, here in Cleveland, people bust out the short shorts and the tank tops. And oh, my, I can't wait. If it's 60 degrees in Cleveland, everyone's half naked. They're suntan lotion. They're all, you know, got the <laughs> SPF 50 on. Yes, they're out in the sun. You can't believe it. So you can see comments, right? Okay. Yes, I can see the comments. Yeah, you, you enjoy the nice days when you have them here in Northeast Ohio, That's especially right. in March. Yeah, and, and the opposite happens whenever the seasons change from uh, warm or hot to, to cold is people here will wear those shorts to the last until that first snowflake and then the then the winter clothes come out they'll have their 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 jacket and uh boots and some of them will still wear shorts yeah i mean they like just, they they don't want to give up those shorts not until they absolutely have to <laughs> right but hey you know that, that's so yeah, i guess uh, when you're not used to warm climate you really you know yeah try to get the most out of it <laughs> you can you know 78 of you this is awesome so yeah we are a little bit early share this with your friends Let's see if we can get this to well over 100. 79. To, oh. Yeah, to 79 viewers. Well over 100. Baby steps, right? <laughs> what about 500? I'm saying go way up there. 500? That would be awesome. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's get 500 viewers. <laughs> That's our goal. It's not impossible. It's a big goal, but it could be done one day. <laughs> yeah. That's I know the, the playback, we get thousands of people, like, after a couple that days. At least watch for a few seconds, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how long they watch, but... We get people that'll watch throughout the weekend. They'll go back and watch it if they missed it. Yeah, when they fall asleep, they keep waking up and have to rewind it. <laughs> go back. Hello, Let's hello, see. hello. My throat seems... I, I, I ain't got nothing. I just I just sound a little deep today. A little froggy. Uh, rip it, rip it. <clears throat> I'm okay, though. Buzz says, we're northerners. We're tough. That's right. Yes, you have to be tough to live in north... You got to be. Up north. Ain't no other way, baby. <laughs> We're excited. So this is going to be episode 118. 118 118 episodes. episodes. I can't believe it. That's pretty damn huh? impressive. Wow. I'm impressing myself. I mean, every week it's like, wow, we're, we're just, we keep moving along, you yeah. know, getting closer and closer to 200 episodes. I know, boy. <laughs> well, you know, the beautiful thing is that we can't get canceled unless we cancel ourselves. You know, I mean, as far as now, I'm not talking about the word, the new word canceled going around now. I'm talking about um, the show can't get, um, you know, uh, management can't come in and get rid of the show because the ratings are low or anything like that. We're, uh, we're, yeah, we're independent. This is an independent production. 
We're indie people. We are in, indie, independent. What the movie photo. was that from? That's from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's Hermie the Elf. Yes. I want to be indie, indie, independent. I want to be a dentist. I want to be a dentist. <laughs> Hermie. My family uh, watch it every year. How do you? How can you not? Yeah, it's. I couldn't remember. I knew it was from one of those Christmas specials. Why yeah. are we talking about Christmas in March? Well, you know. Okay, well, because you asked me where that um, independent thing came from. Oh, that's right. Okay. The imitation of Hermie, my poor imitation of Hermie the Elf. Elf, my attempt. Yes. How, how dare I attempt to, to imitate an elf? Which, what, what am I thinking? <laughs> well, let's see. What time is it, Graham? Is we're, it time to start the show? It's 9.58. I think we got people rolling in still. It's good. It's good. I kept it's good. thinking it was 10 already. It, it, it will be in two more minutes. Lois says 108 viewers. Whoa. Ooh, cool. So this movie... And we'll talk more about it when we start the show. But oh, I, boy. I think it's in more of an obscure movie, but it's not bad. It's not that bad. Oh, yeah, it is. Well. Or else we wouldn't show it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's very uh, interesting in the way that it's, 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 it's a, like you say, it's a pre-code movie. Mm -hmm. It was made before the movie code was, was put. Uh, to, but, but there's nothing really salacious or scary in it, it's just, but it still falls in the category because of the code, uh, the, the Hollywood code that they had going on. It wasn't applied to this movie, but. Um, yes. But it was, it's, it's an interesting little movie. It is interesting. Um, and, and do you want to talk about one of the interesting things about it? We don't know much about that part of it, but. Well, we'll let the viewers see. Yeah, and then we'll talk about it after. Yeah, and then we'll talk about it after, but let's. Uh... Yeah, we'll start we the show. I think we should start. Ooh, here we go. Let's for start it. the show, guys. All right. Happy Friday. That's right. Hope you're ready. Hope you're <laughs> DTF. <laughs> Down to Friday. <laughs> they know. They know. <laughs> well, whoop dee doo. Hey, gang. Welcome. I'm Cliff Jablonski, the behind the scenes guy here at the Mummy and the Monkeys Harry Scary Hangout. Yeah. And I want to know one thing Are you DTF? That's right, you know what I'm talking about. Are you down to Friday? <laughs> show for you tonight yes indeed you do <laughs> we do episode 118 of the hangout Ooh. and the movie is from 1931 it's a pre-code hollywood movie that's right called the phantom Ooh, and don't get it confused don't get it twisted with the uh the billy zane movie of the same name with the guy that runs around the jungle in the purple underwear and the lone ranger mask not that guy no way this is a different phantom this is more of a scary kind of phantom <laughs> yeah so he's he's like a killer guy that escaped from prison and and uh he's yeah, it's, it's on the loose. It's a mystery of why I don't know it's a mystery. Let's put it that way. Well, it's it's like a murder mis kind of a murder know. mystery thing, but then but then it has like a horror element uh, with with him dressing up as like a character. It's a little. It's it's kind of a wacky. He's trying come. to like get revenge. It's definitely more on the comedy side. It's kind of you know kind of wacky and 
uh, burpy like that. Maybe but, in 1931 it was scary, but maybe. it's not really that scary in 2021. But it's it's an interesting oldie movie. But regardless, I did my thing to it. I grimified it, so it's got some crazy stuff going on in it. Of course, yes. John, John Saxon, Saxon appears in it, of course. Awesome. Um, and I had I, I took uh, some liberties with some of these sounds and things like that and some of the uh, dialogue in the movie. So I had fun with it, you know, the visuals. And how many farts are in this movie, Graham? Only four. This is one of those movies four that farts. only ran about an hour originally, so it's real easy to sort of edit. Uh, trust me, if I wanted to, I could probably make this a 15-minute movie. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> walking around and things like that and uh, a lot of phone calls in this movie. A lot of people picking up the phone and talking to someone on the other end that you don't know you know, you don't hear them. You just hear the, okay, be right there. Make sure you hold them for it. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. Well, telephones know. were still new then. I guess so. It was like a new concept. Showing off that phone. <laughs> Look, we can use the telephone. Yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> Look what we can do. All right. I love that going on. But, but we don't only, not just that. We don't, we have more than that to offer tonight. We yes. not just have a good movie. What else do we have to uh, got going on tonight, Jen? Well, we have a prize giveaway. Woohoo! Don't we always? We're giving away two Mummy and the Monkey buttons. Is it going to be two winners or just one winner? Uh, one winner for two buttons. Ah, uh, so you have to clarify. But that. here's the cool thing. So if you guys tried for last week's contest, then you're good. Your name is already in my big shiny plastic mummy bucket. Ooh. But if you're new to watching us this week and did not try for last week's contest, send us an email. And the email is themummyandthemonkey at gmail.com. And in the subject line, have it say buttons. 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 And I will put your name, I will add your name to uh, the mummy bucket. And we will pick one lucky winner and we'll send out a couple cool pieces of flair to that lucky winner. That's right. You could be the most stylish, profilist monster kid on the block, baby, wearing some Mummy and the Monkey buttons. <laughs> yeah. So last week, Patrick Lord won the DVD. Yes, he did. And I did mail that out today. So thanks for watching us, Patrick. Cha ching. All and right. And congrats that you won. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, so um, we, the, the, what we usually do at this point in the show is we do our, our mini monster shout outs, correct? Yes, we do. <laughs> Set up straight. Uh, We've got Miss Putrid Petunia. She's sitting with us. She's our mini monster mascot. And we have two new mini monsters to do shout outs. So we'll, we will shout out them first and then we'll go down the mini monster uh, shout out list. Yeah, she's not dead. She just smells that way. All right. There. Yeah, yeah. She's looking a little green around the gills prop her there. Up a little bit. Yeah, that rigor is like kind of tough on those little. Okay, there you go. All there right. you go. <laughs> All right. So mini monster shout outs to the new mini monsters. Gabriel and Annalyn. Woo! Hey! Hello there! Welcome to the fold. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and all the other mini monsters, this is a shout out to you guys and gals. To Penny! Hey! To Dario! Dario! Julia! Atticus! Atticus! Dominic! Hey, hey, hey! Miss Violet! Hi, Violet! Miss Hannah! Hannah Banana! <laughs> Miss Becky! Hi, Bex! Nevaeh! Ooh! Miss Stephanie! Katana, Hi. Ariana, wow. Miss Sienna, mm -hmm. <laughs> Lil Kong, hey, what's up, Lil Kong? Isabella, Carly, Cassandra, Eva, and Mackenzie. Wow. Wow. Our mini monsters list is definitely growing. There's a lot of families that watch, and we are the show that watches you back. That's right. So <laughs> Speaking of that. <laughs> Ooh, it's time. Is it time? It's time. It's time. It's time. All it's right. Time. Oh, here she goes. Get prepared. Magic macabre mirror. Magic macabre mirror. Tell me, tell me. Oh, who be here? here? <laughs> I see Kevin, Kirk, oh. Keith, Daryl, Jeff, Ron Garstick, hey. Lois, Dave Thomas, Whoa. Terry, Richard, Emmett, Annette, Justin, William, Gary, Jeremy, Rob, Kevin, Randy, Fabian, Bobby. Uh, let's see, Travis, Ooh. Adam, Curtis, Whoa. John from Parma, Wow. <laughs> Louie, Christopher, Lynn, Will, Bill, hey, that rhymes, Tony, there's 172 of you right now, Whoa. and then Miss Nora and Herman, can't forget you guys too. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa there. Woohoo. Whoa, indeed. <laughs> Man. I tell you, I think that might be the most we've had uh, so far on the show, like watching. Well, the closest uh, we had was about right? 200. Yeah, yeah. So we, I don't think we've topped that yet. Okay, but we're working on it. We're, we're getting there. We're working on it. What else is there to do on a Friday night? I mean, it's not like you can go out anymore, you know. 
Well, and not, not quite yet. <laughs> We're almost so, there. If you're stuck in at home, you're shut in or whatever. Hey, welcome to the show. All right. So uh, we got uh, a fun show for you tonight. We got a couple of Stasha skits tonight. Oh, and a brand new interview that we haven't shown yet. That's right. There's a brand well new to you guys. Right. We were going through our video archives yeah, and found from, an interview we never played. It's from a Cinema Wasteland uh, August or Fall 2018 show. Janet interviews a uh, a guy that was in a, a, the main actor. Uh, My in Bloody movie. Valentine. My Bloody Valentine. Ross Stein. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty awesome. He was so. really nice. Yeah, so we got that brand new. It's called. It's another uh, eye, to, uh, eye to eye with Janet Decay. So yeah, get ready for that coming up a little later in the show and a bunch of other fun stuff. Who knows what we're gonna say or do on this show because it's a live thing all right we're probably the only horror hosts that stream live and chat live with uh, the viewing audience so there you go yeah it's a virtual event every week that's right so hey strap oh i was gonna say no, so let's let's uh continue on with the movie Grim. <laughs> that's right so <laughs> hunker start down the movie. hunker down get your snacks here we go with part one of the phantom right here on the, the mummy, mummy and, and the, the monkeys, monkeys hairy, hairy scary, scary hangout, hangout. <laughs> <laughs> Zaśpiewacja umie i nutę zawodzić Żadna młoda widno panna nie chce za mną chłodzić Koło naszego jeziora zapka sobie rzecze Co się z lewą przokrąć mówię, że mnie za to nie chce I... Never mind, I'll take that. All right. Ward, does this fellow seem to have any fear of the chair? Not at all. Totally unconcerned. Say, Ward. Doesn't seem to care apart. That airplane's around again. Flying lower than usual today. He's directly overhead. Did anyone get the number? There's no number on it. No number? No. That's right. Say, odd. That, that might make a good story. Oh, I don't believe so. It's just someone cruising around here. That's a big Well, Sam Crandall, he'll make a story out of it. Hello? <laughs> Warden's office? You say everything's in readiness for the execution? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what a dumb thing to do. Speaking. 
Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. This is Chief Murphy speaking. The Phantom is supposed to be somewhere here in the city. He is a most desperate criminal. Oh, really? A killer, a human tiger. <laughs> Take no chances and shoot to kill. Okay. Yes, Mike. That's fine. All right, then, shoot it through, just as way we had it lined up. Yeah. All right, hurry it up. Hello, Mr. Crandall. What up? Well, Winters, what can I do for the law? Well, I want to see Miss Hampton. Why? A report has reached headquarters that the Phantom is out to get her father, the DA. Hampton had nothing to do with sending him up. I know. But we've been tipped off. He feels our district attorney's office responsible for his conviction. Oh, I see. Well, she's out right now covering a society wedding, but she'll be back in a few minutes. Sit down. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Yes? I guess you know me. I'm Pat Collins from headquarters. Well, how are you, Sergeant? Well, what can I do for you? The chief has detailed me to act as your bodyguard until I can capture the Phantom. I guess you know he's made threats against your life. Well, that may explain this. Well, that makes it a whole lot easier for me. Providing you're willing to meet him. Why not? If I can count on you for a little cooperation. Ah, don't you worry, Mr. Hampton. Just leave that guy to me. I mean, this is about as interesting as, as listening to a John Tesh album. I expect you at 11 o'clock, then. You better make a 10. I want to be sure he won't get away. Well, the Chief's orders, Miss Hampton. He must accompany you everywhere. All right. But I think it's silly. Imagine your society reporter being guarded by handsome officers everywhere she goes. Boop, boop, be do. It's more, Winter. You better get out your soup and fish because Miss Hampton's covering the embassy ball tonight. Well, I hardly think it'll be necessary for me to attend. However, I'll be there. Well, no, you're not excused. Now you may leave. What's going on here, Mayor? I can smell it. Are you sure? That's for damn sure. We'll get her right up to my office, then. We'll lay this whole thing out. All right. What? Because I want to hear this. I want to hear it. Your boyfriend. Hello. Trevor like is high. You got on my drawers? Why, well, sure I do. I mean, I'm not quite so sure about that. Woman, you better hurry up and make me something to eat. You got on my drawers? Well, of course I do, silly. I was only fooling. You think I'm playing? Pardon me. I'm very sorry, but if you don't mind, this is my private line. I'd like to keep it open. Yes, come up right away. Adios, amigo. Why don't you take a picture of the last lugger? Are you in love with this fellow, Ruth? It's none of your business. Yes, Sam. Why do you ask? Why do I ask? I can't help it. I'm a greedy slob. It's my hobby. Surely, Ruth, you have some idea how I feel toward you. Don't you know I love you, Ruth? Oh, get out of here! Why, Sam, I didn't realize that. Well, anyways, don't get smart with me, young lady. I'll have you know that I am a decent man of perfection. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right, Ruth. Have you told your... or let your father in on the secret? Uh, no, not yet. We were waiting for Dick to make good before I told him about it. Why? Well, you see, this is Dick's first job. And it isn't very much of a position. Well, we were rather waiting on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, if I give Dick the job, why, you and he will be married. You're absolutely correct. All right, Ruth, please get busy on that society waiting right up right away. I'll see what can be done for Dick. Oh, thank you, Sam. It's all right. Hey, Peewee, you know what time it is? Better take this gun. How long have you had that butler? Well, only a short time, but he came very highly recommended. Hey, you! Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? It's me, it's me, it's Ernest C. James. James. Come clean, what's your real name? Where did you work last? You get in your room and stay there. I'll see you later. Well, for my money, he's got all the facial characteristics of a criminal. You know, the, the narrow chin and the eyes close together and slack jaw of a prominent overbite. Say, that guy ain't no regular butler. He's lying to me, but don't you worry while I'm around. Thanks. Have you inspected the upper part of the house? Why, I was just gonna do that. Yeah, I right. Now, you keep cool, and remember, I'll be right upstairs. Or whatever. What a dump. Something screwy around here. I'm gonna kill somebody up in here tonight. You what? What? The Phantom, sir. I heard of how he's coming here tonight, sir. Now run upstairs and lock yourself in Miss Ruth's room and be calm.
Why, don't be silly. That's only Collins, the detective. Now go on up to your room. What the hell? It's impossible for him to approach the house without being caught. Now, you just trot on in there and make yourself comfortable. I'll stand by the hall door. Gotcha. Welcome back to the, the Mummy, Mummy and, and the Monkeys, Monkeys Harry Scary, Scary Hangout. <laughs> and you're watching The Phantom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Unless you fell asleep during that movie part. But anyway, <laughs> we're happy that you're up now watching us. Yeah, we finished part one of The oh, Phantom. It's in four farts from 1931. And if you Ooh, guys saw... It's still clear in the air out here. Yeah, if you guys saw in the very beginning, yes. there's a Cleveland ad for Sunray Films. And I tried doing research on Sunray Films and could not find anything about them. Yeah, very so, interesting. I don't know if this film has a Cleveland connection. Maybe it was edited or processed in Cleveland. But you found out that this movie was shot in California, right? In I, be I believe it was. A lot of the hmm. films from that time, even the low-budget ones like this, were still filmed in California. Or it could have been shot here. We don't know. I mean, but... When I looked up information on this movie, on Wikipedia and, and sites like that, there's not a lot mm. on there. Because you, you have to think, I mean, this movie's like almost 100 years old. A bona fide mystery. So if any like film sleuths or historians out there that watch, might be watching our show or know someone that might be able to help us out with that, figure it out, then yeah, just kind of rewind back on the replay you mm -hmm. know, from our archives and see if you can find anything about Sunray Films. Sunray Films. And yeah, that was that little um, ad was in the very beginning for, for uh, film processing. We don't know exactly so, the connection, the Cleveland uh, connection. But I don't know what the connection is. There's something there. But, uh, I mean, unless if it was, it might have just been a random ad they played before the movie. That's true, too. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. But, but it, it's interesting because, yeah, I mean, that business is obviously long gone now. But. Yes. The sun has gone down on Sunray Films. Aww. Aww. Anyway. Anyway, so what do we have next? You know, I don't know. <laughs> you were, we were talking about that uh, over the movie because we watched this too. Oh, yeah. oh, maybe you can uh, really quick uh, oh, yeah, let so, everyone know about the contest. So real quick, we have a contest. So I'll get um, this out, away from, so out of the view of your we life. Ga we gave away a DVD last <laughs> week, and for... The people who participated in last week's contest, I still have your names in my big shiny mummy bucket she right really there. Does. I do. But if you weren't in last week's contest, you can send an email to us this week. That's right. The mummy and the monkey at gmail.com and in the subject line have it say buttons. And at the end of the night, I'll we'll pull uh, one name out of my bucket and 
One lucky winner will win two cool Mummy Monkey buttons, some uh, pieces of flair for your jacket or vest. Some Mummy Monkey swag, if you will. Yeah, yeah that's right. some so swag. There's an the email address right there, and I'm going to plink it off there so we can get back to your... Uh, yes. Yeah. Anyway, the couch. There we go. All right. So <laughs> much better. All right. There we go. Now, now I'm more comfortable. Yes, and so are they. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So, wow. And uh, we have other things coming up tonight. We have a, a, a brand new uh, interview you did. Uh, new yes. to, to the audience anyway that this was done is, um something we wanted to play closer to valentine's yes. day and we just at the time we couldn't find it we remembered that we had this interview that we wanted to put out um and we kind of forgot about it for a little bit i feel bad yeah and i chopped it down quite a bit uh, there will be more of the entire interview on our youtube channel because we, we also have a youtube channel for the mummy the monkey mm -hmm. and uh, we always put uh, longer you know uh, like the extended versions yeah. of interviews we'll, we'll put them on our youtube right so, so this the, the interview we'll play later is uh rob stein from my bloody valentine that's correct yeah and when we were at cinema wasteland in 2018 uh, the fall show Yes. So, yeah, so that back be in the fun. before times. Check that out. Uh, that's coming up after next uh, movie break. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow, what time we got there? Okay, we're doing good, actually. We're actually right on time. Cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Okay. Um, um, oh, real quick, too. If you guys are watching us from Kalamazoo, Michigan, if you're watching us on Public Media Network, we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And check out our Facebook and YouTube live streams because this is, uh, uh, if you're watching it on cable TV, then it's going to be a repeat. That's right. You can find out more about your favorite Mummy and the Monkey on themummyandthemonkey.com. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has all the links for everything. I hope you're enjoying the sound effects in tonight's movie. I had a lot of fun doing them. And there's a lot more fun and craziness coming up. Because again, this movie isn't really that bad on its own. It really is not. It's kind of it's, it's, it's kind of cute, kind of quaint. Mm -hmm. uh, a bit Old of a timey. comedy. Yeah, and I Old like timey. that, you know. Uh, but... Uh, so, but I punch it up a little bit to just try to make it more Mummy and the Monkey, uh, you know, uh, palatable. Well, this next part coming up, the part two, I, has an interesting scene, and we could talk about that when we come back. Ooh, that's right. Okay. So that let's let's like continue on with part two of the Phantom. Hey, wait, where are you going? Uh oh. I don't, don't go back to the beginning <laughs> of the film. Uh -oh. We're testing out some new equipment here. So <laughs> right here on the Mummy and the Monkeys. Hair scary, scary hangout. Hang out. All right, let me do this. Can't remember where we parked. Expecting someone, Mr. Hampton? <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Hampton. I want to have a little talk with you. What gym do you go to? I haven't I seen you at the clubs, and who have we slept with in common? I work out at home. I'm allergic to smoke, and I'm in a long-term relationship with my high school boyfriend. Up your 
pants. <laughs> Don't get excited, Mr. Hampton. That gun's not loaded. Ah! I have a little proposition I want to offer you. What's that? You'll excuse me a minute. Mr. Winters. Well, the pleasure has been mine, Miss Hampton. And I suppose you'll be here to guard me on the way to the office in the morning. Yes, indeed I will. What time would you care to leave? Oh, I suppose about nine o'clock. Well, I'll be here with pleasure. Swing! I wouldn't push so hard on that button, Mr. Hampton. It's been disconnected. Oh, uh, okay. Wait a minute. What's your name? Shorty. You're the chauffeur, huh? Yeah. And I know a flat tire when I see one. <laughs> hey, you trying to kid me? Oh, no. Daddy, what are you doing up so late? Everybody has to poop sometimes. I have a good deal on my mind tonight. Oh, no. I'm serious. I'll see you at breakfast. All right, but remember, don't stay up too late. You know this is way past your bedtime. Be using my hair crimper on your bad place again. I thought I smelled gin and regret. What in the world is the matter with you? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh dear, you're always afraid of something. Haven't I told you there's nothing to be frightened of in our own home? But I don't like this place. I wish we were back in our dear old home. Oh, Lucy, don't be absurd. Well, Mr. Hampton, let's get out of the business. Excuse me? Well, you want to see the Phantom in jail, and I... I want to... I'd have to ask you to step out in the hall a minute. Hurry up! Stop rushing me! Collins! Collins, where are you? Collins! He's in there. You don't mean he's in the house? Yes, he's in here. Are you sure you saw him in this room? Why, certainly I am. There's his hat. No. Hello!
This looks extraordinarily bad. Oh, Central. Hello, Central. Get on the flow, on the flow, find the phone, call the police, the shooting is on. For goodness sake, sit up there. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Give me that key. What key? Oh, the key to the door, hurry! I drop your thing back, will you? Just a minute, Daddy! Just a minute! Just a minute! <laughs> oh, that terrible man! What man? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Lucy! Lucy! Oh, oh Lucy! Oh, Shorty! Oh, 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 Shorty, Shorty! Oh, I'm so glad you're oh, here! Oh, hey, you, shut up! <laughs> Who'd you say was here? The Phantom! The Phantom? Look over that room, man. All right. Which way did he go? Right through the closet! What? Watch yourself, man. Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all. Well, who'd you say was here? The Phantom. <laughs> Hello. 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 You're spending the night with Fred Jarvan, male prostitute. Well, what is it, dear? Tell me. What happened? It was terrible. Oh, Daddy. I heard Lucy fall. Then the door opened, and this terrible thing crept out. What terrible thing? What? Oh. Hello, Sam. What? Honey, close that door, will you please? You do it. Oh, no. You're stronger than I am. I, I, I can't move. You close. Get the key out of here! Hello, Mr. Know-it-all. Ruth, are you quite sure you didn't see his face? Oh, no. I didn't see his face. All I saw were these terrible fingers, those claws clutching at my throat as if he was going to strangle me. I know, but you always make me do all the work. We are a classy bunch. <sighs> oh! oh. Hmm. I'm oh. scared and excited, too. Oh. Hampton, it looks like you've got your phantom. Oh, nonsense. How did this happen? Well, you see, sir, I had an occasion to go in there, and before I could resist, I was seized, bound, and gagged. Are you telling the truth? Oh, why, of course, sir. I wouldn't be so sure of that. I've known men to tie themselves up. Oh, why, yeah. Don't be silly. No man can tie knots on his own wrists like that. Go to your room, James. I'll see you presently. Okay. Party. Barnes. Oh, Daddy, if you don't mind, I think I'll go to bed. Yes, of course, dear. You'll run right along. Good night. Uh, good night. Good night, Ruth. Well, good night, Sam. Hampton, I wouldn't be so sure of this man's innocence. His face is very familiar to me. It couldn't have been a ghost you saw, Hampton. Either that or people walk in and out through the walls of my house. Well, that's pretty hard to believe. Yes. Don't cry, honey. Well, I want to cry. <laughs> I wish, I wish I'd never come here into this spooky old place. Why be afraid? Ain't I here? Oh, brother. Well, I'll be a dang fool. It's the same. When we're married, I'm not going to live in this awful place. Once again, something wonderful in my life has been turned into a giant crap fest.
Don't be absurd. I tell you, he was here. He was... Put up your hands! You got him, eh, boys? So you're the phantom. <laughs> So it would have to be you. Say, what's the matter with you birds, huh? Well, what are you waiting for? Put the cuffs on him. Just a minute. There's been a mistake here, Mr. Hampton. What do you mean, a mistake? Why, this man is Dick Mallory, one of my reporters. Well, isn't that special? A reporter? Hey, what do you mean, coming into my house like this? Well, my chief will have to explain that to you, Mr. Hampton. I'm here to locate the Phantom. Oh! Oh, good hey, for on. you. Come on, I'll show you how that bird got out of here. Through the secret stairway. Well, Mr. Hampton, I suppose you'd like to know what this is all about. I certainly would. I'd be very glad to explain it to you. Thanks. Sit down. Careful now, man. Dick! Dick! See, you, you're trying to trick somebody. another talented person, a director, producer, actor, and well, why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Rob Stein, and I'm here promoting the film My Bloody Valentine, which Cinema Wasteland is honoring this week. Um, I am one of the cast members in, in the film, um, a film that we shot in 1981. Uh, 38 years ago, wow. but it seems to have, uh, it's become a cult f favorite, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's such an honor to just be here with my fellow cast members, um, regaling uh, how wonderful an experience it was to make this film so many years ago, and it's just mind-blowing that there's so many fans worldwide that are in love with this movie. And then I um, made a movie called A Fish Story. Um, it's a story about my father. I wrote it, I produced it, and I co-star in it. It's a story about a father's promise, my father's promise, that one day he would build a fishing cabin in the wilderness. And the night that my dad finished building the cabin, he passed away. And so this is a story of the first time the family comes back to the cabin three months after his passing and the uh, the family have to sort of figure out what they're going to do 
now that their patriarch is gone. It's also a story about the father who's passed on and he can't find peace in the afterlife because he blames his family's dysfunction as a result of his having died. That's incredible. It's a feel-good movie about love and loss and hope and faith and redemption. It's a, it's a, it's a feel-good movie about losing someone. Yeah, and I'm sure a film like that has inspired many people and maybe have made a difference if they're grieving or going through some rough times. God, I hope so. So, so I, I hope so. <laughs> it was great to meet Thank you. you mommy. Aww. There's, so nice to meet you. You Thank too. You. There's more guys, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the, the Mummy, Mummy and the, and the Monkeys, Monkeys Harry Scary Hangout. Yes, sir. And this is episode 118. And tonight you're watching our fantabulous movie from 1931, The, the Phantom. Phantom. Ooh. And that scene you saw where the Phantom goes, oh, yes. he's like in the closet and he, he's oh. trying, well, he's trying to get that oh. girl, the, the reporter. Uh, the one that kind of looks like a blonde bag. We don't know who the Phantom is yet, let's be honest. But some, well, someone does come he's the Phantom. skulking out of the closet. And yeah, and he's he's got like this cape with this hat. And? And uh, I love that she just, she is not afraid, gets her gun and just defends herself. Well, she's packing. Everyone's <laughs> packing heat in this movie. I, I like that she's not like, you know, running and hiding or whatever. She's like no, trying to fight back. The maid's doing a good enough job of that in this movie. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, but she's definitely like uh, like a pistol packing mama. She's She's got her heat, heater on her. Yeah. It, 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 I just thought that was awesome. Like, cool. You go, girl. <laughs> But uh, Lucy and Shorty, I think they need their own TV show. They do. I think that would be a great movie or something. Maybe we should, like I said, we should be there for Halloween, but nobody would know who we are. So. Yeah. Anyway. The Lucy and Shorty show. It would be great. A lot of people the Lucy and Desi show. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and, uh, so. You, yeah, well, okay, so let's talk about the, okay, no, or the interview, I was going to say. The, yeah, Rob yeah. Stein. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I put that in the thing. If you watch it, you'll see that uh, his name is Rob Stein. But uh, he had a different uh, uh, Facebook page because he, because in the Actors Guild, Rob Stein was already taken. He explains it in the interview a little bit. We, I just kind of chopped it up. But he had to change his name to Sam Roberts because um, because of a, a name conflict in the Screen Actors Guild. He couldn't get registered oh. to his real name, so he had he. So he had to make a like a stage name. But there's still yeah. his parts of his name. I think Samuel is his first name, and Roberts is his middle name, or something like that. So Robert. Oh. Okay. So he added an S to write. It's a whole thing. But yeah, so that's that's to clear that up. So go looking for the guy. You want to learn more about him and uh, check him out on Facebook. Yeah, it's Sam Roberts. So anyway, there. Now we can go to the contest. Yes. Yeah, and I'm glad we found that footage because I remember, you know, we met him and he was super nice. And I don't know, for a while we couldn't find the video. Or, we have the movie. And, he gave us a copy of that movie. We need to watch it. And you yeah, want we still need to watch and it. And he wanted you to get get a hold of him, tell you what you thought of it, tell him what you thought of it. Well, we should watch it and then contact him. Three me. years later, we will get on. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little better late than never, right? No, that's right. Well, we do have a prize giveaway, and at the end of the night, we will announce one lucky winner. Yay. So if you guys watched our show last week and already sent us an email for the prize drawing, don't worry, your name is still here. If you didn't watch last week's show and you weren't a part of that prize drawing, you can send us an email to be a part of this one. And the email is themummyandthemonkey at gmail.com. We're right. going to give away two mummy and monkey buttons to one lucky winner. That's right. So some mummy and monkey swag or a flare, pieces of flare, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Who knows it. what we'll throw in there? Who knows? Yeah. We'll throw a couple extra. So lots of names in there, and uh, that'll be fun. Absolutely. Now, we got some fun stuff coming up uh, after our, our program tonight. After, you know, when the show ends around midnight, yeah. we switch over from our Facebook channel to our YouTube channel. And we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. But um, let's go to, let's, we should probably. <laughs> I can't quite, this mouse is so loose. So we have some fun things we can discuss. Yeah, let's talk about some of the stuff that we, uh, that we're involved in and we're going to be up to. So let's see what pops up here.
alert. No, I, I'm seeing it. You guys can't hear us? Nobody can hear us, right? No one at all? Can you guys hear us okay? No sound, people are saying. Well, I, I see the sound moving. What's going on there? I don't know. I don't like this computer. Hmm. No sound for the movie or what? They're saying no sound right now. Put on your phone. See what you got going You're on. back now. They're saying now we they can hear us. They can hear us here, but not when we're... Uh, but not when we were showing the pictures. Oh, maybe... It, now, see, that's that's what I don't understand about this uh, So, setup uh, maybe here. it was just for the pictures. And, well, how can I get rid of these stupid alerts? I, I don't know right now. As long as they don't get in my way. So, maybe... You know what I'm thinking? I'm now, thinking yeah, they're saying they can hear us now. It must have been... It goes quiet when we switch it. Yeah, so let me let me try something. Let's see how Sorry about that, that, guys. No, we did all that... We did all that talking. That's okay. That's not a big deal. Well, let's, so so for the two stills we showed, let let's. Uh, I'll just. Uh, here, let me see something real quick. Well, while you do that, I'll talk. No, if you talk, then you won't be able to hear you. So just wait a second. Okay. Let's go back to. That's yeah, so okay. we'll, we'll, what I'll have to do is I have to go into the controls and be able to set the audio. So it's just something in the settings yeah. that we're missing, but that's okay. So the the pictures we showed. Doesn't matter. RondoAward.com is all the information. It's election season in the horror film community, and uh, we were lucky to make it on the Rondo ballot for a favorite horror host under that category. It's a tough competition, but it's worth a shot. And. Uh, there's lots of other categories too, like favorite movie, favorite magazine, favorite Fav artist, favorite virtual event, favorite virtual event, and for that one, we're going to vote for Joey Vento for the Haunted Barn Museum. I would be checking out the Haunted Barn live tomorrow night. I can't wait to check out his uh, yeah. virtual event. It's awesome. And then uh, we're going to be on the big, the, the big bad B movie show. We have a skit that's played on. That was the second slide you saw yes. uh, on Channel Forty Three. We go over that every week. Um, we'll have uh, if you, you, you can yeah, check it out on there. Yeah, they're airing a new episode tomorrow on yeah. WUAB Channel Forty Three, and then you can also watch if you're out of town on the nineteen uh, the Action News Roku app or on the website. That's right, and we have some stuff for sale. You have a discount going on. Our uh, Teespring store, you can mm -hmm. buy Mummy the Monkey merch there. Those links are also on themummyandthemonkey.com. So if you're interested in some Mummy the Monkey merch, check out our website. I also shared it to our Facebook page, this page you're watching us on ah, right now. <laughs> with a discount um, yeah, for Earlier some, today. <clears throat> the discount so you get. Yeah. The, the, the coupon code for 15% off is SPRING, ah. all in caps. And, uh, yeah, 15% off anything you order from our Teespring store. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, so, yeah, the, the, that little, we'll, we'll figure it out. So, TV show time travel we might not be able to do, or what do you do because you won't be able to hear us talking, unless I can figure out how to do it, uh, how to add it into mm. the stills. That's, that's kind of Well, weird. we'll still make it work. We'll still make it work. We'll still keep going. Yeah, yeah, I got that. We have, yeah. There's a way around that. Anyway, <clears throat> so here we go to... Fart three already. Oh my gosh, we're flying. Fart through this. three of the Phantom. <laughs> what I was gonna say is we didn't uh, because I was gonna talk uh, over the still. But after our Harry Scary Hangout here on Facebook, we switch on over to our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. uh, the Mummy and Monkeys Harry Scary Hangover. And, and it's our fiftieth episode on YouTube. Wow! And then we have, yeah. we're, and we're gonna celebrate that by opening up something we got from uh, some resellers uh, that we watch. And I guess we're sort of virtual friends with them. Yes. It's the Bargain Barons from Canada, from Regina, Canada. And they said, Regina. And Regina. Re Regina. It's not, no. <laughs> it's Regina. <laughs> we're not tacos. Though. They're hey. from Saskatchewan, yeah. Canada. And they sent us a Canadian um, treat of, of some sort. We don't know. We just we don't know. it. But we I only cut it. the tape. I didn't open the box yet. And so we're going to share this on YouTube. We're going to see what they sent us. And we're going to share that. While, we're going to unbox that while we talk about Tonight's subject, subject is going to be horror-related comic books. Yes, we're going to talk Ooh. about horror comic books. That's a subject near and dear Scary to my, comic books. To my dark little heart. So, yeah, we yes. got a whole, I got a short box of comics here I pulled from my personal collection that are horror-related from different uh, companies. So, we're going to be talking about those. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, yeah. So, we always be having fun here. Uh, any way you cut the mummy the monkey, uh, we're always having <laughs> some fun here. So, all right. So, you can hear us. 
But get ready not to hear us because you're going to take in part three of The Phantom right here on The, the Mummy, Mummy and the Monkeys, Monkey's Harry Scary, Scary Hangout. Hangout. Woo, take a deep breath and hold it. Hi, ho, and welcome back. Dick, I think I know where he is. You do? Do you know a doctor by the name of Walden? Walden? I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. The only Dr. Walden I know is that old quack <coughs> that has a sanitarium out on Country Drive. I'll bet that's the place. Why do you say that? Well, when the Phantom was in my room, he kept muttering something about what a wonderful subject I'd make for uh, Dr. Walden's experiments. Experiments? I think I'll go out there and let him experiment on me. What? Well, I'm going with you. All right, we'll sneak out of here and take your car. What kind of a place does Dr. Weldon have? It was used as a private insane asylum until the doctor disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. Don't you remember that they found the body of a murdered girl in his yard? Oh, is that the place? Even that doesn't explain why this man should break into my house in this manner. Well, you see, he had rather a personal reason for wanting to scoop this story. A personal reason? Yes. Well, he's been secretly engaged to your daughter. No way! Engaged to Ruth? Yes. The fact of the matter is, I rather unwittingly aided their romance. Well, why should you do that? Because I wanted to see Ruth happy. Even though I'd hope someday to be able to make her my wife. You're useless and pathetic. Like a useless and pathetic thing. Now, Sam, that wouldn't have hurt my feelings a bit. Dick, are you sure this is the right place? Well, how the hell should I know? Uh, oh! What's the matter? Why, something touched me. What are you doing here? <laughs> Just hiding. Why, Lucy, what are you hiding from? The... Yeah, we got scared in the house and got in here to hide. Before we could get out, why you run away with us? Well, do you know where you're going now? No. Oh. Just where we hope to find the family. Oh. Oh. Hey, gate man, open up that gate. You talking to me? Dr. Wallen expects us. Hurry up. excuse will we give for being here this hour of the night? Oh. Uh, I'll tell you. You rip a big fart. And I'll carry you in. That'll give us a reason for calling on the doctor. All right. Catch me. Hey, Shorty. You and Lucy go and open the door. And remember, Miss Hampton's unconscious. All right. Will you shut up? Are you afraid with me here? Hey, Shorty. Take a look around here and see if you can't find somebody. Huh? 
Go on upstairs and see if you can't find somebody. There must be somebody around here. Hurry up. You're going with me. Oh, no, not, not me. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, Shorty. Well, oh, come on. You, you don't need to be afraid. Boy, I, I, I'm here, and I can... Uh... Say, did you hear something? No. You, you didn't hear nothing? Say, listen. We've got to find somebody. You holler. Hello? Somebody? You better be quick out. I'm coming. You better, 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 better look out of here. I'm coming, I am. Doesn't seem to be anybody around here. There surely must be somebody in the place. Don't! Fool me once. Shame on... You stay right here. Shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. Oh, she wants to see Dr. Belden? Oh, well, yes. Uh, could I see him right away? Yeah, sure. Just a minute. Oh, my God. If you're about to shed your human form, please don't make my body the next host. Come right in here. I know, but how about... Oh, Shay's all right. Shay be all right. Come on, it's right in here. Back <laughs> off, Jack! Come on. I think the doctor will see you all right. You know what kind of a place you in here? No. Then, this here is a crazy house. Crazy house? Yes, sure. That's why you tell us and why you with your way, why you go about with the van here. What'd you say his last name was? Hey, you see, you don't understand. There's 7,777 seasick men here. And they're all crazy but me. Oh. Well, what are you doing here? Well, that's your shit. You see? Dr. Velden here. He knows that I've got plenty of money. And what he's trying to do now is to get my money. You know my son. He is the governor of this here state. Oh, you don't say so. Yeah, sure. Now, this howdy duty looking mother fella. If you go see my son, and you tell him that I'm in here, and he'll come and get me out, I will give you one hundred thousand dollars. Well, boy, I'll sure do that. The minute I get out of here, I'll telephone him. That would be fine. Hey, what'd you do that for? I used to remind us so you shouldn't forget. No, no, no. Oh, forget. Come in here, Dr. Velda is here now. Come here, Dr. Velda is here. Yeah, this is Dr. Belden. I thought I told you never to interrupt me while I'm working. Oh, pardon. I was deeply engrossed in this treatise on the transplanting of the human brain. An operation that hasn't as yet been attempted, but I shall do it. I shall be the first. Well, let me explain it to you.
Roses are red. And how do you do? Drink four of these and boo 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 boo. See, by making an opening here and one here, then transplanting the cell from this side of the brain to this, we are able to change the entire disposition of the patient. What is that? What are you talking about? Well, that's all very well, Doctor, but I have urgent need for your services. Well, my dear boy, what's the matter? Well, you see, we were eloping, and my bride-to-be has been overcome by excitement. She's unconscious. <laughs> oh, that's that, my boy. Uh, you mustn't worry. Young brides are always nervous. But uh, where is the young lady? Oh, just come out here, Doctor. Just come out here. <laughs> Go bring the Doctor. This is the charming little bride, I presume. No, that's not her. What'd you do with her? What, what do you mean? Well, that's not Ruth. Where is she? Excuse me while I whip oh, this boy, out. I don't hey, understand. listen here. Listen, if I don't find her, I'll tear this place down and you with it, understand? But my boy, how could I know anything of your sweetheart? I'll find her anyway. Hey, Ruth! 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 Ooh, stubborn, eh? Ruth! Oscar, can't you see the young lady has faded? Bring her a glass of water. Yes, sir, Dr. Van Leeuwen. Get the glass of water, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's got a hold of water. A marvelous subject. Alpha. We oui, merci. Get my book. We. Oui.
know what's nice here? It's good to, to be able to get around and do a little spring cleaning, huh, man? I tell you, good weather can't come soon enough for me, all right? That's right, all right. We go out and get some uh, fresh kielbasa and sauerkraut, all right? And Dingus Day's coming up, too. We gotta get ready for that. We gotta get ready for that. Okay. Hey, uh, do me a solid and uh, take this box upstairs, okay? All right. I'm gonna put more of this junk in this box, and we'll get this all cleaned up, and then we'll be uh, ready to go and start a new project. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, whoa, Stasha! How the heck did your glasses get over here? Hey, here they are. What? Ooh, all of a sudden, I'm feeling a little chilly. I feel a little breeze in here. Ooh. Hey. now my stars and garters hey welcome back one and all to the mummy and the monkeys harry scary hang out what what he said that's right anyway <laughs> yeah so you're watching uh tonight's feature film the phantom we were we already went through the three farts of four so mm -hmm. the big exciting conclusions coming right up momentarily <laughs> yeah so we'll finally get to see if they catch the phantom oh yeah oh my gosh or I if they wait. just end up farting more who or gosh knows what happened. Well, you know, like I said, it, the movie isn't horrible. It, it, we've definitely shown worse, but you know, I, there was a lot of liberty that you know, I could take with this movie. So it does did. make it fun, more fun to watch. Yes, I try, I try. <laughs> and we we watched the X-ray specs Stasha skit. Yeah, we only shown that once. I think around this time last year. And, yeah, uh, haven't so. shown it since. You forgot about that one. Yeah, I, re I really did. I forgot we had Stasha uh, act in that skit, so There's it's a, nice to see that one again. Actually, Stasha may be the uh, the number one uh, the skit that we've shown the most, I believe, you know, as far, or, or made the most uh, of. I think we made, yeah. Even more than Mummy and the Monkey skits. I, I, th I think yeah. so. I think we need to be in more skits, Graham. We do. And we got a plenty, com we have a lot of ideas planned. We just got a new green screen, so we're going to be shooting stuff in the television studio here. Yes. The TV studio. Here at the Erie Cinematary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have a lot of stuff planned for Yins out there. So uh, stick with us. Uh, we won't let you down. Yep. We just got to get some days off to shoot the skits. <laughs> days off? Where are we going? I don't know what that is. Yeah. We work all the time. It's just a time. Anyway. <laughs> That's all right. So, it's all fun. Do you want to uh, do the last call for the uh, the contest tonight or for the giveaway? Yeah, so this okay. will be the last call. If you have not participated in any prize drawings yet, uh, last week... You guys who sent emails, there were a ton of emails, so I saved all the names. And tonight, at the end of the night, we're giving away a pack of Mummy and Monkey buttons. So one lucky winner will get to win some buttons. And if you did not participate in last week's prize drawing, you can still participate in this one for a little bit longer. Right. <laughs> and the email is right, right. there, the think, Mummy and the uh, Monkey at yeah. Gmail. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna stop taking. Uh writing down names and after probably to like halfway through the my bucket's time. running out of room and i'm running out of paper your so. bucket overflowing yes my bucket is <laughs> spilling it over yes there 
You're leaking names. Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying our show tonight. Uh, I know it was fun to put together for sure because mm -hmm. uh, I had never seen this movie before, so that's always fun for me. Where did you find this, by the way? You just kind of... Uh, I found it on Archive. No, I found it by accident, I think, on YouTube, and then I looked uh -huh. it up on Archive. I, I, I've been... The past maybe month or so, I've been watching a lot of pre-code Hollywood films and early uh, 1930s, 1920s mm. films. Yeah, there was another one we were looking at, uh, the, the, the something ghost, the, the ghost walks or something like that. We were thinking about showing. Oh, no, no, there was another one, but I don't want to say anything yet. because That's you know, a different one, though. I, I, we want to surprise people yeah, with some so of the titles. So we're constantly digging, looking, uh, you know, not only at the bottom of the barrel, but underneath the barrel, <laughs> where the barrel was standing in the ground there. We, we dig and dig Yes, and dig, yes. So. And um, I did see a fan uh, wrote with information on Sunray Films, so Ooh. I'll have to check that email later. Oh, so we got thank an actual you. email. Oh, nice. Yeah, with, with links of uh, information that Info. they found. Well, that's yeah. beautiful. See, that's a great thing about that's this sort awesome. of yeah, this sort of medium that we have now. Uh, you can just throw a line out there. It's like fishing and see what you yeah. can catch. There's a lot of people out there that have knowledge, you know, about things that you might not, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it's always cool to keep on learning. <laughs> okay, any All comments right. we can talk Checking about? Check the this, comments. This Love it. Archive, says Albert. Yeah, Archive, there's so much cool stuff on Archive.org. Not all of it's public domain, but it's pretty cool. Bust my buttons, someone says. <laughs> Ellen says, did I win this time? Now, Ellen has actually won a couple times. Yeah. She has, but yeah. You can't win if you don't play. <laughs> <laughs> and Gary Smith won a couple weeks ago. Hmm. He was one of the winners. He won a signed photo. That's right. So we yeah. can do, uh, we didn't so have done what do you do? We yet? have not done that, and we, we had some more uh, fan art sent to us. We do. So let's get to that, and then we'll finish up the, the movie. And then The only thing is we can't talk over the pictures. That's okay. So what we'll do, like you said, we'll play the intro. That will mm -hmm. get some time up. And then uh, we'll, sh we'll show the first couple pictures, and then, like you said, come back and we'll talk about them. Okay, yeah? we'll do that. All right, so here we go with the What Do You Do segment. <laughs> what do you do when you're watching The Hangout? Do you watch on your PC? Do you watch on your phone, in a group or alone? Send us pics and let us see. What do you do when you're watching The Hangout? Does your hairy, scary show? <laughs> or do you watch with your dog? Or do you sleep like a log? Send us pics and let us know, yeah. Okay, so those Ooh. first two we showed, except for the cartoony web drawing, uh, was from a, a viewer named Sean Moore. Those are like uh, models, like Aurora model kits, oh. monster model kits he put together. That's cool. You put all those together, Sean? He sure did. They looked really, really neat. That's a fun collection there. Yeah, that is. He may, I, I think he did. I mean, why else would you display other people's stuff, right? I mean, it's got to be stuff he put together. I'm pretty sure it's I don't know, Maybe you could together. buy them already made. You could, but what's the fun in that? But, uh, I'm just kidding. No, that, that's Sean's actual uh, skills as a, uh, a skilled uh, model Ooh. builder. So and, maybe uh, he painter. puts together model kits while watching the show. And the next one's going to be from an artist that's been contributing to our show for those past several weeks. Yeah, he seems Marty to Garcias. be uh, sending us pictures every week. Yeah, so here's a couple from Marty that he just, uh, that we, will, we can't talk over him, but we'll be right back. Okay. And talk about what he showed. All right, you got a gander of Marty stuff there. Uh, he's uh, <laughs> apparently uh, obsessed with us. He keeps drawing f um, uh, more and more drawings of us and sending them in. Uh, that one last one was of you and Elvira. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, standing next to each other. And the one before that was him reclining, uh, watching our show, uh, with drink in hand and all his uh, accoutrements around him. But we mm -hmm. want to thank Marty Garcia for all the cool stuff he's been sending us. He's actually a guy that was watching Goularty back in the day when he was a kid. Wow. And Goularty was actually on. He said he never missed a Friday night. So That's awesome. That's really neat. Thank man. you, Marty, for sending those. And yeah. I, and thanks, Sean, for all the thank cool you, photos. Yeah, Sean, for the cool monster and, pictures. That's right. And if you want to have, send us what you do uh, while you watch our show, uh, you can send us uh, images to the mummy the monkey at gmail.com. And we'd love to uh, share with Cleveland and the world what you do 
when you watch our show. Oh, yeah. You know, what your trappings are around your TV set or your, you know, pen tablet, whatever you're watching. And I don't know. Yeah, some people watch us on a, like, when the weather's nice, they watch us on a projector outside. We've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. some people have, like, a cool, like, TV setup with their figurines. Yeah. and So, who knows? Yeah. But it's, it's always fun sometimes to, to show people what you do. Or maybe they the make, show. like, a favorite dish. A favorite yeah we've had people send like food that they cooking eat. Video, uh, cooking pictures yeah, yeah. Or, or food they would eat while they watch us uh, it could be anything you can think of so mm -hmm. like this. if you want to share it with uh, our audience please send it in okay cool what else we got here so, so should we uh we should we should we should end this uh, movie we should end the movie it's gonna be tough because <laughs> it, i mean all these characters i mean you got uh what do you got uh lucy and lucy and shorty, shorty. Of grown the, us. the the reporter, yeah, the, the the blonde Betty Boop. Don't forget Dick. We can't forget Richard. No, Dick. His name is Dick in the movie. I'm I was saying his formal. See, name. I thought maybe that that would be the, the the shrew of the show. I thought maybe we we're going to get a lot of you know. Oh, a lot of Richard jokes. A lot of yeah, Dick jokes to say. You know, <laughs> I thought that it would be like Dick, Dick, but you know, but nothing. But okay, I, it's kind of ridiculous if you ask me. But. Oh. Anyway, here we go. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe you. Yeah. Hey, we'll see what happens in this form. Maybe there's still time for redemption. If you want to redeem yourself and make all the D jokes you want, please feel free. Um, last well, we week, can't dictate to the people what to do. They have to do it on their own free will in the comments. And it may depend what dick, dick strict they're in. <laughs> that was a reach. But uh, last week's show, we showed the Attack of the Killer Shrews, and the whole comment section for the whole It was two all hours shrew jokes. It was all shrew-related jokes. And yeah. some that weren't even, didn't even make apply but still it was still really funny there were a lot of crowbars out that day but it was, yeah. it was hilarious so much fun but yeah i thought for sure that I, that's why i didn't really touch <laughs> that's why i didn't really touch the dick uh jokes in this movie i the the, the references to to his name because well, i thought the audience i thought the viewers would just be taking maybe apart. they were just being more mature well <laughs> watch, watching this show are you kidding me okay <laughs> True. You're in, the, you're in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah, good point. Let me point. tell you for maturity. All right, well, let's watch the final fart, the final conclusion of 1931's The Phantom. Right here on The, the Mummy, Mummy and, and the Monkey's Hairy, Scary Hangout. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, ding, Torgo Bell. Ah! You remember this patient, Alphonse? Uh, oui, monsieur, doctor. A wonderful operation. Oui. Too bad it turned out as it did. Mm -hmm. ah, that's showbiz. Does Monsieur Doctor intend the same operation on Mademoiselle? Yes, I think I will. Okay. Oh, my nerves are rather unsteady. I haven't practiced for several months. Oh, monsieur, doctor. Wah, wah, oui, wah! Elfant, oui. the book. Yes. More room! Stop! Hammer time! Hey.
You dropped something. I... I what? I... Nutty, nutty. Don't you know the doctor that wants you out here a cold night like this? Oh, boy, what a hangover. be a spring or something around here that releases it. Oh. What's the matter? Phantom went through there. Went through where? Through there. It's a secret door. A secret? Let's bone the police. Come on. Come, hurry up. Take it, Shorty. Hello. Oh, what's the number of the police station? Call up the house. Collins and his men are there. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, hello. Albany, 9807. Yes. Well, there's no use in my waiting any longer, Hampton. He's not going to show tonight. No, well, I guess you're right, Sam. Hello? Hello. Hello, Mr. Hampton. This is Lucy. What's that? Hey, where are you? Huh? Where are we? We're in Dr. Walden's sanitarium. In Dr. Walden's sanitarium? On Country Club, on the Country Road. Yes. Oh, and, and Mr. Hampton, we got the Phantom here. You see, they've got the Phantom. What's that? What's that? They got the Phantom. They got... They've got the Phantom at Walden's sanitarium. Do you know where that is? Oh, sure, sure. You stay right where you are. I'll be out there at once with the officers. Now, wait a minute. That may be just another gang. You stay here, and I'll leave a couple of men to guard you. Now, don't worry. I'll take care of you. Hey, boy! Come here! Hey, to stop it. Come on with me. I've got a hunch there's no stall in this, Hampton. Well, I'd like to go with you, but I don't want to leave Ruth alone in the house. So phone me the moment you get there, will you? All right. <laughs> what a dope. What a maroon. <laughs> I suppose she wants to get in there. Yes, can you open it? Yeah, sure. Well, hurry up. Open it. You see this heaven? Yes. That ain't the one. Well, which one is the one? Uh, 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 ain't I uh, a stinker? You, you see this heaven? Yes, yes. That ain't the one either. Damn you! Oh, come on, Slim. Be a good fella. Open it up for me, will you? Well, you ain't been such a bad fella, I guess, so. You know, that reminds me of a very, very funny little story. Oh, come on, Slim. Have a heart. Did you ever hear the story of the Yak and Yill? Yes, yes, I've heard it, but you can tell it to me tonight. Come on, open that up, will you? I'm in a hurry. Shouldn't you be in your tree making cookies? Well, I guess that's all right. Uh, you shouldn't be in such a big hurry. Well, I am. Hurry up, will you? Well, you see that hair? Yes. Well, if you turn it like that, you see, and, and pull, and it won't open. Oh, But if you push it, say like that? Yes. And then pull. 
Say that if it do. Keep it. away from me, me. Hey. Please, I'm going upstairs and help him. Oh, no, no, Shorty, you'll get hurt. What? Don't. With this? Come on, boys, let's see what's up here. I am invincible! Invincible! You're Take a look around there, boys. Alright, okay. Come on, let's take him out of here. There's another souvenir for you, Collins. Put the irons on him, boys. He's harmless. Ought to make the headlines for this, eh? Scrandal? Why? Ain't I got the phantom? Tough luck, Collins. Our supposed doctor is the phantom. Excellent! You got to prove that to me. That is very easily done, gentlemen. That is the phantom. Well, looks like we're going to get the story after all, doesn't it? Let's telephone it in. All right. Lane, 4,000. Just a minute, Ruth. Please. I'm trying to use the phone! Hello. Give me Mike. All right. Mike Crannell speaking. <clears throat> Break that phantom story just as I had it laid out. Yes, ma'am. Credit, Dick Mallory. Right, right, potatoes. Certainly make it an extra. All right, step on it. All right, Dan. Well, <laughs> I guess that gets you your raise, Dick. Swing. From now on, you'll be our star reporter. 
Thanks, boss. Cool. And I wonder if it'd be asking too much if I got a couple of weeks vacation with it. Have you lost your mind? Don't you like to work? Oh, sure, but... Well, you see... We got a little matrimonial business we got to look after. Sexy time. Is that what you want, Ruth? Absolutely. Fragging loot, they damn it. Yes, Sam. Boy. God bless you, boy. Thank you. You're gonna end up eating a steady diet of government cheese and living in a van down by the river. Oh, what I see. What was it? I seen a phantom. You little fellas ever hear that story about Jack and you? Dawn, that's the end. That's, and that's about all you know because there was no murder. There was no. Well, the Phantom was a murderer who but, was escaped from okay. a prison. He could have done anything before. But I guess he didn't he, murder any of those people. He was just trying to get revenge on who, though? I and mean, he was trying to get revenge, but I don't think maybe they on really. Maybe a girl? I mean, it didn't make. I don't. Look. I don't think they out. explained who he was trying to seek revenge on. It's a mystery, and it was a mystery, but we know that <laughs> Dick, Dick got a raise. And, and you know that that's good. And hopefully he got a bonus. A bonus. So he's moving on up with his job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's uh, headed uh, to headed. And Dick is headed to bigger and better. Things. And Lucy and Shorty are together. That's right. So you know, I guess it was sort of like a happy ending. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Happy ending. Exactly. Yes. Dick, well, there's nothing for wrong Richard. Yes. That's well now. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Well. Yeah, we better stop while we're ahead. <laughs> Anyway. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that okay. bit. The show isn't over just yet. We do have yes, a, it is. No. A, a Cleveland TV Showtime Travel now, segment. Yes, and usually we will show we would show this uh, and um, talk over it, kind of explain to you what's going on. Mm -hmm. But since I can't figure out on this new computer we got how the heck the, the audio needs to go over overlap the video, which I'm sure is a simple fix, but... Uh, I don't want to uh, to 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 uh, belabor you all with that sort of uh, you know torture tonight. But it's, so, it's pretty easy to figure out the yeah, way you have the picture set up. Yeah, there's music behind it. So there's yeah. a music bed. So what base what this basically is is uh, I rifle through old television guides, TV guides that uh, used to come out. I don't, do they still make TV guides? Uh not not on paper anymore. It's the equivalent no. to when you're on your uh, on your you know. Device, whether you're on your Roku or your cable, and you pull up the menu, right? And it tells you yes. what's on. So back, back before they had that menu, back before streaming services and cable TV. And right. They printed an actual magazine that would come out every week that would tell you exactly what's on you know, stations in your area. Yeah. And, uh, and you would you would plan to, you know, watch your favorite yeah, shows. You, plan you knew what up. was going to be on. So so what I did is I, I scoured through a bunch of ones I've, I've collected uh, from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s. And uh, put together like a little montage of stuff that was shown here in Cleveland mm -hmm. that are, that's horror hosted related. Uh, we had Friday nights. Uh, we had a couple of hosts that would come on like Big Chuck and Little John or Hulahan and Big Chuck. And then Saturday we had Super Host. Okay. We and had the, the Ghoul. Ghoul. And uh, sometimes some other ones would pop up here and there. So whatever I could find in these uh, TV guides that pertain to the weekend that we do our show. Yeah. I kind of just kind of show just to let you know what was going on in Clevetown back in the day, horror host wise. Okay? As a little homage, as a, as a tip of the hat to yeah. the um, horror hosts that were in the Cleveland, Ohio area on television back in the day. That's right. And I show a little montage of some of the movies that they showed, like uh, stills and, and things like that. So uh, tonight we're going back to the year 1980. Yes, Ooh, 1980. 1980. So enjoy this uh, a few minutes of a uh, Cleveland TV show time travel, and we'll be right And back. you can talk amongst yourselves. That's right. We'll be right back. We'll just, we can even discuss it afterwards. So yes, there you go. Let's take some mental notes. There'll be a pop quiz. That's right. Pop quiz. 
fuck with this. Here we go. And like we said, we couldn't narrate over over it like we usually do. You just heard the uh, the sound bed there, the music. But uh, yeah, so yeah, a little that was technical. Um, yeah, flaw that little we'll... technical flaw. Normally we could talk over the uh, graphics that we show, but this time we couldn't. And we will next week for sure. I think yes, I, I we'll think get I know it sorted out. What to do? But we just, again, we don't want to uh, get too caught up in that and have a technical issue right now with uh, <clears throat> as we stream tonight. But uh, right. we should be pretty good for the rest of the show here because we're going to do our giveaway for tonight's prizes, which are two Mummy the Monkey buttons. Right, we're giving away two Mummy and the Monkey right. buttons to one lucky winner. And there's a lot of names in here from this week and last week, so I'm gonna, I am i got to shake this up really good. Shake your mommy bucket. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it, shake it up. Mommy bucket. bucket. Shake it up. Bucket, bucket. Okay, now let's stir it up. All right, stir it up, shake it up, and stir it up. Shake it and stir it. James Bond would be very, very confused. He wouldn't like this. 007, would, he, he usually likes his shake and not stir it, but with that mommy bucket, you get okay. both. Okay, I think I've got one name here. All right. Let me see. I always like to see before you read it. And the winner <laughs> is? Okay. The winner is Dane Stotzer. Hey, congratulations, Dane. Congrats, Dane. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. You win tonight's prize giveaway. Yay. Thank you all for entering. And uh, every week, you know, we usually do something so uh, yeah. that we're on live. So, yeah, definitely check us out. So, and, uh, yeah, we will send out a couple of Mummy Monkey buttons your way. Some swag. Mm -hmm. So yeah. thank you, Dane, cool. for uh, participating. And thank you guys out there for, for participating, too. You're all winners of my book. That's right. So what are we off to next? We're off to the uh, you, our YouTube channel. Yeah, we're going to give us about five minutes. We're going to jump on over to our YouTube channel. And we are the Mummy and the Monkey on YouTube. This, this will be our 50th episode of the Mummy and the Monkey's Harry Scary Hangover. That's right. And it's our after party, uh, like live chat show, and where we talk about different topics. That's right. And you picked a great topic for tonight. Yeah. And on top of this topic, which is going to be horror related comic books. Look at this crazy. Ooh. I could like brain myself with this thing. Look at this. Yeah. It's a whole compendium. I haven't even opened it up yet. Should so I ban it for In you? the cellophane. It's it's like a it's a whole collection of old Marvel comics, Woo. and you can see Groot right there. You have to tilt it down or up one or the other. So is there that you go. is that okay? Perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, right, everyone, perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a it's a, a collection of a bunch of old Marvel, and I've got I pulled comics from my own personal Oops, collection. Just set it down there. It's too heavy for okay. me to do anything else with the can. Um, 
Yeah, we'll be going through a box of comics and uh, talking about some of our favorite horror comics. Yeah, uh, so horror, horror comic books, scary comic books. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and there's we're gonna so do a, many. We have an unboxing from uh, some friends of ours in, oh, in the foreign land of Canada. Yeah, so we're going to do a live unboxing on YouTube of this um, this little treat pack from the Bargain Barons. They're, they're oh, famous Canadian YouTubers. That's right. We cannot wait to check out what's yes. inside of there. I hear it's Ooh. edible. I hope it is. Mm, I'm hungry. Okay, cool. Perfect. So <laughs> join us on our YouTube channel, which is The Mummy, The Monkey, and momentarily, and we want to thank you all for joining us tonight for episode 118 of The Mummy, Mummy and the, the Monkey's, Monkey's Harry, Harry Scary, Scary Hangout. Hangout. <laughs> good night, good fright. Woo. See you later, alligators. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey.